even if he has accelerated healing, that scar's with him for a good 10, 15 years. So he should be completely disfigured. Like, and I just all of a sudden had this image. Of this, and that's, it can be as simple an idea as that. Action! Five on the set. Okay, so you, you talked about you, this. You want this to be the, the Wolverine that if you, if you tell someone to go watch a Wolverine movie, this is the one you watch. W what about this formula was going to make it definitive for you? And is, is the R rating part of that? We never really made the film with the rating in mind. Uh, that's not true. We were open to all ratings. Pretty sure it wasn't going to be G rated. <laughs> uh, but we were open. Our goal was to make a great movie, to really try and free it up. And... I suppose my job now is to kind of get audiences to open their mind too. You know, quite often in one of these sort of interviews in the past, I say, oh, you know, you don't have to have seen all the others. And, but this one actually, you really don't have to have seen all the others, you know. But the rating was never going to be the thing that defined us. And it does have an R rating, but I don't want anyone to think it is R rated and we went for an R rating because we wanted it to be violent. I mean, he's a badass character, and yeah, he's violent in the comic books, and we've never really been able to go there as much as we wanted. But the, I don't think that's what defines the rating in this case. I wanted it to be sort of more for the story, for the drama. It's the thematics, really, that make it that. Did it become, in a sense, that, it, that this was going to be like your bucket list Wolverine movie where there yep. are things that need to be done? Yeah. So were you well, strong no, Well, like an open book. I wanted an... A bucket list is a great option, and, and I have... I have to say, my partners at Fox, and I call them partners, not lightly, you know, I went and I sat them down in a hotel room in Los Angeles a good year before we had a script. And I said, this is what I'm thinking. And they literally, within five minutes, let's go. We're in. And I was like, no, but you really understand what I'm saying. I'm, I'm taking all questions of rating. I'm not even thinking about rating. I'm not thinking about timeline, I'm thinking about other movies. I'm just, I want an open book for us to make the greatest movie about what I think is one of the greatest characters ever written in, in any form. It's an iconic character and I want to rip it apart. I want to get into its guts and I want to tell this story definitively in a way it's never been told before. And they were like, let's go. There was no talk about budget. There was no talk about release date. There was no talk about who's going to be in it, how many. It was just that, let's make a great movie. And I was like, terrific. And then I kind of went back and I rang Jim Mangolf. I said, are you in? He goes, f*** you, yeah, is what he said <laughs> in an email. <laughs> and so it was kind of simple. Yeah. It felt from the beginning, there was the planets were aligning. It felt clear to everybody and simple. And in any creative field, you have to feel that, oh, this excites me. Oh, I now, yes, oh, that's how I should have played it in the last five times. And now I know how to do it. And that's... I think this film illustrates that better than anything. Ooh.